Hello, this is Noreen Kronfindley from Kronfindley.com and ToddyTalksCrafts.com. This video is all about how to warp the Hearts and Flowers loom, Tenerife Lace Large Loom that I designed so that people could weave images of compassion, kindness, caring and love, um, which of course, hearts and flowers. And you can weave other things on the loom too, uh, other motifs, no problem. But those are my two main focuses with this loom. Um, I made a video that shows how to lay in the foundation chain. And so go to that one first if you haven't got your foundation chain. If you've got your foundation chain done, great, we'll get started. Now I'm using two strands held together of uh, a worsted weight number four uh, medium weight yarn. And I'm going to take those two, the strand from the inside of the ball and the strand from the outside of the ball, and I'm going to tape those to the back of the loom. And I've put that piece of tape on at the top, the back top of the loom behind that top arrow. Now, these are all instructions that I have come up with myself because this is a loom I designed and um, Gary uh, McFarland of, um, of uh, Dewberry Ridge Looms uh, makes it because I don't have a uh, CNC machine and, and the expertise uh, to use a CNC machine and he does. And so bless their hearts. They, I design, they make. Now, what I've done is I have inserted, I have a, a, a lovely, um, any needle will do, but I really like this one. I got this in a package of assorted needles and it's got a sort of, uh, it's a needle working, a leather working needle. And I slip that in to lift the, the loop. So at the arrow at the lower edge of the loom so that I can get my 1.75 millimeter hook uh, in under the horizontal bar and I pull a strand of the well I'm, it's two strands held together so from now on I'm just going to call it a single strand. I pull that loop out big enough so that I can pass the yarn through the ball of yarn through. Now I've got a bit of a snaggle here. There, get that sorted. And then I gently pull that up. And now I'm going to turn my loom and I will go through. This time I can use, if you don't have a snazzy needle like this one, a smaller crochet hook helps to just get that loop lifted so your 1.75 millimeter hook can go under it. And again, so lift Go under, catch the yarn, pull through, make a loop that's long enough for your yarn to pass through. Pass your yarn through. Gently pull up. You don't want your warp strands to be super tight. I also recommend working with yarn that has spring in it because um, it's just that much easier to work with. And you want, uh, you want quite a lot of um, volume on the, because the, the holes are quite far apart, so there aren't as many strands as a quote-unquote normal uh, Tenerife lace loom. And that's on purpose because I wanted to make a larger, a larger loom that people could work with to make larger motifs. So these motifs, okay, I've slipped in under, lifted, pulled the yarn through, pulled through. So the hearts and flowers motif that you weave on these looms are large enough that they can be um, uh, standalone motifs. And let's lift that loop. You can see it's just the 1.75 millimeter uh, hook is too large. Now I've gone to the left of the previous loop, pull up and turn. Yeah, so you want um, the uh, 
because it's a large motif, working with thicker yarn really is better. It has more body than thin. And I'm using the, the skinny little tiny crochet hook to lift my loop, my horizontal stitch, slide the 1.75 millimeter um, hook through, make that loop that I pass the yarn through, gently ease up, not pulling tight, tight, tight. The yarn will be have take up, so that's why you don't want tight, tight, tight. And so I've turned again. Always work to the left of the stitches. Now, the reason why I work with the 1.75 millimeter hook, here, I'll use the teeny tiny one here, and sometimes it works, but sometimes it splits the yarn. That time it was fine. So that's why I switch back to the 1.75 millimeter hook. But um, if you find that working with a, a, a crochet hook that's small enough to go through, turn to the left, um, and doesn't snag up on you, then go ahead and work with that one. Yeah, the tiny one's working just fine right now. So pass through, pull up, turn. Okay, pass under the foundation strand, over and through, pass the yarn through that loop that you made on your, with your crochet hook, pull up and turn. Always working to the left of the previous strands. So slide under, catch, pull through, make a loop, pass the yarn, through the loop and then ease up and turn. So I'm going to keep working my way around the loom, always going to the left and then turning. And when I have finished warping the loom, I will come back to you. Now you can see I've worked my way almost to the very end. I have one uh, horizontal bar here and one here. And I'm going to work the, the loop through. And oh, wouldn't you know, I should have checked that before I turned the camera on. Uh, the knot there. So I'll pull my, you can see my ball of yarn has decomposed. I'm going to need to rewind that one before I do the next one. So pull this loop up and now across to the last loop and it is to the right of the, I'm working to the left of the working strands, but the last one ends up being beside the arrow that was the very first uh, set of strands. So I've pulled my loop through and now Ooh, ooh, what a mess. Yikes. Okay, so I will pull my little mare's nest through and ease up that set of strands. Now, I'm going to go to the back and lift, take the tape off there, lift these strands and pull them down to the very center. I'm sort of going to check by the, with my fingers where the very center is. And I'm going to take my yarn ends from the ball up to the center. I'm going to turn so it's easier to tie the knot. And I'm going to tie a surgeon's knot at the center, which means I'm going to go over and under once, over and under twice. Now, I'm going to take my ends around the ball and, and pull up. If I wanted to make the first round of the um, motif in the background color, I would measure off at least a yard of two strands of the yarn held together. So I'm going to do that using my handy dandy little tape measure here. So I run the yarn along the tape measure 
and I'm going to snip it just slightly past the the yard mark because I know that um, when I'm pulling the yarn out that tends to stretch it and it will bounce back a bit. So because I'm going to use the background color as the first round of the in uh, of the center, I've got this yarn that's going to sit on the top, that yard that I cut. This yarn, I'm going to take my crochet hook, I'm going to go through the back and sorry, there we go, and catch it and just pull it down to the back. And if you want, you can take it around, take your hook under um, some of the loops and pull your ends through if you want. Or you can do this with a needle. Right now, the, uh, I'm struggling to do this a bit, but yeah, it's not happening. That's when the handy dandy loop turner works beautifully. I bring the loop tur turner up, close the latch, it, pull it through there. And now I know for sure that that uh, strand of yarn is locked. I'll do it a second time. And there we go. And actually what I'll do is I'm just going to leave it as a loop like that on the back. And the uh, loom is now warped, ready for uh, ready for weaving. If I was going to use a different color of yarn for the uh, center uh, row round, I would have cut this end off and taken it through to the back as well. But I will use this one uh, for the first center round of the woven heart. And so there we have how to warp the Hearts and Flowers Large Tenerife Lace Loom, designed by Noreen Crone Findlay, made by Dewberry Ridge Looms. And I will uh, post a whole set of links for all of the videos on TottyTalksCrafts.com, my blog. And um, there will be a link to Dewberry Ridge Looms so that you can go and purchase the loom from them. So there you go, all warped up and ready to go. And the next video will be how to weave um, the heart and, the, and then also a video on how to weave the flower on the Hearts and Flowers Tenerife Lace Loom. Talk to you soon. Happy weaving and all the best.